Hello and welcome to this part of the learning series. My name is Jan Görgen. I'm a product manager for Azure AI Content Understanding. In this video, I'll show you how you can generate conversational audio insights with just a few simple quick clicks in Azure AI Foundry. So many of our customers struggle with uh, generating call like post call analytics insights with traditional bi systems you get the typical dashboards as you can see on my left uh, side of my screen uh, where you see like satisfaction levels you can see average channeling times trending topics etc but it's all very static and pre-processed a more modern approach here is to have a rag enabled call analytics solution um, like the one that I'm showing on my screen right now, which also has a chat interface where I can ask ad hoc on-demand inquiries on my data. So in this example, I put in like what are the top customer issues in the past months, and the system then gave me these results with the top four call drops, etc. Also gave me a little overview in a graph here how they are distributed, etc. So how do I set this up? So let's head over to the AI Foundry homepage. Scrolling down here, I can go to Content Understanding, and then I can create a new project. My colleague Vinod has actually did a great walkthrough um, in the first part of the series uh, on how this works. So I'll just head over into the project. And after project creation, I end up in the first configuration step. And here I upload an example of the data I want to process. In this case, it's my call recording, and the system will then um, suggest templates based on the data I've uploaded that are suitable for processing this data. So I'll just like choose the post call analytics one because that's the one we want to generate. You can see I can also set here the locales. Um, it's by default doing auto detection, so we can auto detect the language of the call data. Um, if you only have uh, a single language that you are that is relevant for your use case, you can always turn that off. Um, but for the purpose of this video, we'll just leave it at, on the default setting. And then we'll hit Create, and that will then lead us to the next stage. By the way, we always love to have some feedback on our templates, so please uh, feel free to always uh, reach out to us. So. After my template is loaded into the project, I am guided into the schema editor. On the right side, I have some tools that can help me um, look into my data so I can play back the audio. I could also get a transcription preview if I wanted to that can help me with the definition of the field results I want to generate. The fields that were loaded from the template are things like the summary of the call, the top five topics, the list of companies mentioned, list of people mentioned, also some classification fields like the sentiment analysis and uh, categorization. What now if I need a little bit different uh, results for my business? So actually this is very simple, right? I can just like go here, I can edit, for example, the summary, make this an issue summary instead. I also can change this to a list of strings instead of a string. And um, as such, it's very simple to edit my schema. And then I can also add a field here. So resolution summary to go with my issue um, summary as well. Also make this a list of strings. And actually, I don't think I'll need the companies. So I'll just remove that field because it's not relevant for me. And once I'm happy with all the changes to the schema, I'll just save it. So after the schema is saved, um, the tool will automatically guide me to the testing page where I can run an analysis of the file I uploaded. I can also upload more examples of the data that I want to test with. So let's start the analysis of these two. So now that my file analysis is done, I can have a quick look here. So in the middle, you can see I can play back the audio and I can see the transcript. Um, it also has timestamps. And you can also see here that we are doing an, a role detection to identify which of the speakers is the agent and which of the speakers is the customer in this case. On the right side, I can see the results from the field schema that I defined in the previous step. So I can see my sentiment result here. I can see the issue summary and the resolution summaries I added along with the other fields. I can also look into the result. 
which will give me the JSON representation, which I can also download or copy um, for additional users here. Um, let's have a quick look at one of the other files that I processed. So in this case, this is actually a German recording. So as you can see here, the transcript is now obviously in German. We still get the same agent and customer mapping here. And on the right side, we do get the same fields that we defined before for this file as well. And as you can see, the results are also in English. But if I wanted to have these results created in a different language, I could always also configure that in the schema. If I need to make some adjustments, fine tune the results a little bit, maybe they are not perfectly on point yet, I can always go back to the schema, uh, enrich the description a little bit more, make it a little bit more specific, or add a few examples. Um, and that will then improve the quality very quickly and easily. Once I'm satisfied with my results, I'll just like go ahead and build this as an analyzer. So this is just like my post call analytics. Let's do it this way. So, and by building this, this specific configuration, this schema, this configuration settings will be made available on the API for at scale processing as well. So, as you have seen, it's very easy and simple to make changes to the setup, but also it's very simple to generate these rich insights into your conversation recording data with this service in AI Foundry. Go try it out in AI Foundry, learn more on our product page, or also have a look at this great AI solution template, which will give you the end-to-end -end solution, show you how easy it is to integrate the API into uh, a full solution. And this will give you the application that I showed at the beginning of the video. Thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.